Hi YouTube, this is Carmen and I'm back. And today I am making oxtail stew. But I'm doing a different recipe to my oxtails. I am making jerk oxtail stew. So here's my jerk sauce. My water is boiling. I already um, did the oxtails already. And my veggies are already cut up. So I got carrots, celery, green onions, onions, and garlic. And I also have my Worcestershire sauce and all my seasons over here. But I'm not adding salt, so don't pay no attention to the salt. So I already this morning did my um, broth. To make my beef broth and I already um, shocked it and let it sit so the grease can rise up so I can scrape it off. So now what I'm about to do now, since the water is boiling, we finna just jump right into the recipe. So what I'm going to do is go ahead on and add the jerk um, marinade. And when I told my best friend I was making this, she was like, I don't know, it's going to be tricky. Yeah, it is tricky, but you just got to know how to do it. So that's in. Set that to the side. Now I'm just going to go in with my seasoning. And I'm going to turn the uh, fire down. get the lid off. I'm going in with my garlic pepper. I'm going in with a little bit of lorry seasoning salt. Just a little. And some um, nature seasoning. Now I don't have any fresh herbs. It's strong too. So what I'm going to do, I have rosemary. And I'm adding some of that. And I'm going to add some thyme. So that's been added. Now I'm going to go in with the broth that I made from earlier. And it's kind of gel a little bit because I did let it sit in the refrigerator. Scrape the rest of that out. Excuse me, sneezing. The seasoning is so strong. So I'm going to scrape the rest of the broth out. to the side so now I'm going in and I'm going to use my whisk so I can break it up and as you can see now I'm going in with my tomato paste Just the tomato paste. I don't want it too thick. I'm sorry. So y'all can get up close. Okay. 
and I'm mixing it in. And I did reduce my heat down some too. Put that to the side. <coughs> and I'm going to add some beef bouillon paste. I did use some of this um, earlier when I made my broth. Sorry. And uh, you can control the sodium. I learned that off of cooking with Carolyn. And you can control the sodium of how much you want in the um, how much you want in your stew. Okay. Gonna set that aside. And as you can see, it's gonna boil up. So now what I'm gonna start doing is just adding the meat right now, which is there. So we're gonna bring the meat over. oxtails and these and these are some big oxtails I'm putting in here yeah they real big Okay, I'm going to add my juice in there too. So that's in there. So now we're going to start adding the vegetables. So hold on. Let me sit you guys down. And we are going to start adding the vegetables. So as you can see, I'm going in with my Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going in, make sure, yep, you got a perfect view. Now I'm going in with all my vegetables, which is the carrots and the onions and the green onions, regular onions and garlic and the celery. Yes, I lost some some people along the way. So I got all my vegetables in. Uh oh, and I'm popping stuff out of the pot, <laughs> which is not good. Don't want you to get burnt. Now, I love garlic, so I want some more garlic, which I'm going to add minced garlic to it. And I'm going to add in my celery flakes. Stir that down just a little. I want to add the rest of my tomato paste, but I'm going to balance the um, the tomato um, paste out so it won't make the soup too thick. <clears throat> so I'm going to just add the rest of the can, but I am going to add more water. Let 
and get my wooden spoon. So I'm adding more water because I I still want the soup consistency. bring you guys up so y'all can see it so this is what I have with the oxtails now what I want to add is the uh, McCormick garlic um, and herb pepper And you can season this to your taste. This is what I like. And I'm going to taste it just to see if I have to add any more jerk seasoning. So hold on. Get another spoon. See how this tastes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you get that kick. I mean you get that kick. <clears throat> Excuse me, I ain't want to cough in the camera. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, jerk seasoning. So by me tasting it, we do not need no more jerk um, sauce. <clears throat> Still want to add a little bit more water. Hold on, guys. I'm just adding a half a cup of water and then I'm going to go in with my potatoes. Yes, I have potatoes. The potatoes are going in too. So let's get them guys in there. And these are regular small um, white potatoes. The gold ones. And I like a lot of potatoes. The potatoes are healthy thicken up too. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, y'all. So I'm going to stir the potatoes down. got me sneezing <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is let this cook I'm gonna let it come up to a boil and just leave it alone and I'm going to show y'all the end results because I do have my crock pot over here as you can see and I'm making pot roast too so I'm gonna let them both cook out and I'll be back with another video to show you guys the end results. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment, suggestions, and I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thank you for watching.